Coombe Cassius, IFL TV, in association with MGM Marbella here at the Echo Arena for Collision Course with me. I've got Nathan Cleverly. Nathan, you made short work of your mm. opponent, Alejandro Valori, tonight. Yeah. Full fan stoppage. Yeah, I was happy enough, mate. You know, I, did, I said all week, this guy, because he's shorter. From Bell 1, he just came out swinging. I think he was hoping to catch me over the top with his, with his hooks, you know. And at the end of the day, he's a cruiserweight now. You know, they've got a bit of weight behind their punches. It's important not to get caught with too many clean shots. So I brought my chin down, gloves in, chin down, so he couldn't catch my chin open up at all. Um, and it was a matter of bit by bit breaking him up behind the jab and then getting in. I was working the body. I found that, that left hook body shot was hurting him. Uh, put him down in round two with that. And then, you know, they, they, they kind of protect that area then. You know, I kept going for it and they protect that area. And then eventually I got through in the fourth round. But it was just a matter of staying patient, bit by bit breaking the guy up. And I think I think it went as expected, really. Um, how do you rate the two performances between Corbin and Valori, your two tests at probably the weight? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm really happy. I'm really happy. You know, the first fight, I couldn't have done anything better. The second round stoppage, I was pleased with my shot selection, uh, my strength, you know, because these are bigger guys now. Valori, again, is, is a natural cruiserweight. So... Happy with that, you know, two stoppage victories. And I'd done the same when I, I first moved up the light heavy from Super Middle. I went on eight KO victories in a row because I, I, I feel stronger. I feel I'm going to go on that same path, a cruiserweight. You know, I, I've got two KO victories now. Let's keep them coming. I didn't hear what you said, but there was a massive boo in the arena when you were on live television. What did you say? Basically, I uh, made reference to my mate, uh, Tony Bellew. So... Obviously, in front of his own crap, and well, a lot of his fans was here. So I just said I'll be out after my fight to watch his fight. Be ready for fireworks. We, uh, we, you know, we provided he wins. We're on, so uh, could get tasty. Well, you've done your part of the bargain. Obviously, um, Tony's just about to step in the ring in the next few minutes, so um, he has to fulfil his side of it. Yeah, and then it'll well, finally be on. That's the plan, mate. You know, I've done my bit now, so down to Tony to do his bit. All the best to him. No, I really want him to do it. I mean that. Please uh, do, the, do the business. Um, stay focused. And then, boom, we're on. It's funny because we've got you and Tony, obviously, in the same room. We've got Froch and DeGale sat side by side next to each other <laughs> working for Sky. So <laughs> it's got potential R- fireworks R- everywhere. Rival Central. And these are the fights people want to see, and hopefully it, we get to see these it's fights. It's good, isn't it? You know, it's, it, and it's good that it can, you can unite like that, you know. Sometimes the fighters coming together, showing their respect. But when business needs to be done, that's it. Then the friendship is forgot. Don't you worry about that. It's, it's, it's all down to you want to do as much damage as you can to each other and uh, that's going to be the case Alright, Nathan Cleverly thanks for giving us your time all this week and uh, appreciate it and like I said we'll uh, look to see what happens after tonight and hopefully we get the fight the fans want mm. more yeah. than anything as well I think so I think that, you know, like I said it is part now do the biz we're on Alright, Coogan Cassius Nathan Cleverly IFL TV thank you very much Nice for me, anytime